morning guys or maybe midday yeah it's so i've slept today because i have a really really bad migraine try to go get up at six this morning and the head was hurting so much and i knew that even if i take my painkillers um i won't be a workable person so i just continued sleeping i've been up for an hour or so i'm just got in my coffee done and stuff like that and now I'm gonna sit down do some cross stitching and watch telly and hopefully I, I can't really do anything about the headaches more than not sit in the front front of the computer all day so that is what I do and rest a lot really really a lot but uh, good morning guys I hope you have an awesome day I'm taking a leisure day. I just accidentally got lemonade all over the floor. Uh, we have a soda streamer and I don't use the soda streamer um, like sugary thingy uh, syrup. That's maybe what it's called uh, because it, it has artificial sugar in it. Even the like basic ones, the normal one have half ordinary sugar and half artificial sugar and I don't eat artificial sugar at all so I use um, lemonade syrup uh, that I buy in the store that is I found one that has reduced sugar which is awesome and I also it's it's supposed to be um, when you mix it with water you should mix it seven times water one time syrup but I usually mix it even like 10 water or 16 parts water and syrup it still tastes really good but i do use my soda streamer to make bubbles sometimes and then you just you just do it like you do with a normal syrup you take your water you add bubbles and then you pour in the syrup well today i had a chemical reaction <laughs> i usually don't have that usually very careful when i do this and this time i just poured the lemonade right to it instead of letting it kind of go at the edge and it's a and I had uh, bubble water with a little mix of lemonade all over my floor so I've been cleaning my floor today but yeah I'm sitting here watching Airbender uh, the Avatar the last Airbender uh, because I really like the way it's uh, colored or how the characters look but I haven't really watched the whole series I watched I started watching I think episode one or two or something like that uh, but I quit watching it because at that moment I didn't know how to get them go back to back without having to start a new one all the time now I found that feature so now I can watch them just right through so that is what I'm doing um, and I'm uh, stitching some. I'm f finishing off the frame for um, June, the uh, June pattern of the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries uh, Storytime Sampler. So the f basically it's the frame. I uh, haven't started the inner parts yet. And when it comes to Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, they have 15% off if you use the uh, coupon SUMMER and that is for the 6th of June so you can get that I found that out so I got a pattern I really like the style of the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery but I haven't really kind of fell in love with a lot of their designs uh, there are a few though that I really really like, uh, like the story sa time sampler, I really actually like that with the frames and everything. But they also have a once upon a time uh, sampler which was, I think it was last year's um, kind of a mystery cell, what it's called, uh, when you get one new, fr one new part every month. And I've been watching, uh, so nitpicky, uh, her... Um, podcast youtube podcast she has every week every wednesday she comes out with a new one and she has been stitching uh them back to back because she got the one one upon a time sampler last year but she never stitched it so now she's doing once upon a time and the story time sampler 
um, together. So every month she has one box she does for both of them. And she has been showing that on her podcast. And I really, really like the design. So with the 50 bin set off, I got it. I'm not supposed to shop this month. So shh, I'm not supposed to. But I got it as it was 50% off. And while I was at the computer and, and shopping, I actually bought the fabric and the week's dye works that go to it. So uh, it has three colors of the week's dye works, but there are two of them uh, that you needed two skeins of. The week's dye works are much smaller than the DMCs. They're only four and a half meters. Uh, contra a DMC skein which is 8 meters so it's almost half the length of a DMC skein, skein. and um, so and, and you needed two for two of the colors and one and then I got the picture this plus fabric that uh, is going to be with it which I don't call, recall the color right now but it's a crystal fabric so it's all blingy and it sharded for 14 count but i bought 36 count so that is or it sharded for 14 slash 28 count um and i bought 36 count which should then be 18 count contra for ida um so i i bought another linen another hand dyed linen because i fall in love with it uh, I don't buy hand dyed the way some other people do. I really need, I try not to uh, stash, stash enhance my personal stash too much uh, because I know then when I have finished a project um, I might not want the other stash. And also I, I usually buy my fabric when I found the project that I really really want to work on so um i do the i try not to stand stash in hands too much i could stash if, if i would spend as much money on um on my cross stitching that i spend on my uh, paper crafting i would have an extensive stash of things but I am trying to reduce both. I'm trying not to buy that much paper crafting. Trying to, at the moment, actually stay at buying a couple of digits a month and not so much more. I have the Simon's Stamp um, card kit that comes every month, so I stash enhance that way, having that kit coming in. But I'm trying not to stash enhance that much. I need to actually uh, save all money. For several reasons um, I've told this before both that I'm having some um, electronic issues which means that I'm at that moment when I need to update my phone my computer my Mac and my iPad at the same time and that is a lot of money so I have to save for that um, also I need to put away money because I'm turning 35 yet next year and I want to go on vacation with my boyfriend and we are going hopefully going um, to Florida I think he wanted to go back to Florida before we go back to LA so I think this year would be Florida and then two years after that we'll go to LA again then we have about two years to, to kind of collect money and stuff and thirdly, uh, we need to try to get our loans, some, some of our loans paid off. We don't need to do it, but we want to do it, uh, mainly because um, we would have so much less monthly cost if we pay for them. If you pay the loans, pay off the loans, we, we lose a lot of money in, in costs, in monthly costs, so that would make it easier to kind of collect more money you know that way so we'll see there's a lot of money that needs to go out and it's not an, uh, as much money that goes in because I'm sick all the time which kind of sucks but we'll see how everything will work out yeah but I am going to finish off the frame I am using 
oh this right now it's weeks die works uh 1166 uh, i put all my colors onto bobbins because for me that is the easiest way to stash them put them in stashes i don't feel even though the threads get these little um when you put them on the bobbins they will get marks on them i don't see in my cross stitching that i actually see any of these um bends because when you pull out the threads and you make them sort of straight and everything you don't i i personally see per person like can't speak right now but i don't see them uh in the finished piece so i keep them on my bobbins because i really well guys it is time for bed uh i'm feeling a bit better so hopefully i just get up in the morning and i get up at five so i have medicine working and kind of everything and and such and be back at work tomorrow so that's actually quite nice i have had almost a computer free uh day i have checked up on facebook a couple of times um and added a photo that i needed to send away but otherwise i've been pretty good at keeping away from the computer i have done some coloring mostly just sitting in the sofa taking the load off doing some stitching i i'm i've been watching avatar the airbender and it's hard to stitch and watch that at the same time because it's beautiful and i don't know i'm in this mood that i want to look at things that i know this can help me in my kind of art and i really like the style of the avatar um, manga and i want to be able to do creations like that but we'll see i might someday i need to practice also um i think yesterday i sketched a whole bunch of fruits or vegetables i can show you um i'm working on my kind of chibi vegetables because i want to have a couple of these really cute guys in uh, on the patterns uh but the the ones I had sketched up were very very basic so I re-sketched them um, I going to someday uh, digitalize them I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to make them vector based or Photoshop based um, which is pixel based we'll see I will work with it I will end up having pixel based images but working vector based means you can kind of size them differently and stuff and they are much easier to handle while working on um, the print for the cross stitch pattern so, so i think i'm gonna start by doing them vector based but yeah i have colored today uh i colored yesterday and i don't know if i showed you so i'm gonna show you yesterday's and today's images because this i show these on instagram so if you want to follow me there i'm miss past times um this uh, is a make it craft image i made a pink and brown card with this and now i made it blue because i really like it i really like how the hair turned out starting to get more dimension in the hair and stuff and, and this really really looks good and this is a some odd girl image um, I have been kind of playing here both dimension I really like this is when I work with the some odd girls images they have such a wonderful round kind of shapes and stuff so then I try this um, reflection light reflection so I have the light coming up here but it bounces back and reflects I think that is kind of cool it actually makes it more 3d sort of and uh, also I've been playing with my little white pen and made kind of a, a scene in the background. It's not a scene scene, it's just some dots and stars and stuff, but it was really, really fun. I, when I've been stitching, I thought I'd do a little update here. It's P 
Peter Pan. So I'm doing Peter Pan, which is the June frame. That is the last frame uh, here. So that that has been been released. Uh, it was released just a couple of days ago. So uh, I'm trying to get this done now in the beginning of the month because I didn't get May done in the beginning of the month get this done and then I can kind of put this away and work on something else I should work on my beers but I think I want to take out my blue dragon again and that is also I should be working on Wrath and not the blue dragon but I kind of like the blue dragon so we'll see I am, however, gonna head to bed, so good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye!